Hi guys, it's Andy from Man City Fan TV and welcome to our latest Premier League predictions video and this is game 25. So first off as usual, what we're going to do is look through the fixtures and starting off on Saturday, 12.30 kickoff is Leicester at home to Chelsea. Then we've got a run of three o'clock uh, kickoffs starting with Bournemouth at home to Villa, Palace at home to Sheffield United, Liverpool at home to Southampton, Newcastle at home to Norwich, Watford at home to Everton, and West Ham at home to uh, Brighton. And then there's a 17.30 kickoff on Saturday evening. That's Manchester United at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers. On to Sunday, 2 o'clock kickoff. The early kickoff is Burnley at home to Arsenal, followed by the last game, which is our game, 16.30, and that's Spurs at home to Manchester City. So, as usual, we've got our three guests on. We're going to give their predictions. I'll come back and give mine. And then uh, we'll look at uh, the table and see where everybody stands. So over to uh, Martin first this time. Hi, guys. Martin here, Man City Man TV. Cheers. Thanks very much. And uh, going to go through my uh, Premier League predictions for you. Week 25, match day week 25. Let's go then. Leicester City 1, Chelsea 1, Bournemouth 1, Aston Villa 2, Crystal Palace 1, Sheffield United 1, Liverpool 3, Southampton 1, Newcastle United 2, Norwich City 1, Watford 1, Everton 1, West Ham 2, Brighton 1, Scum Manchester United 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1, Burnley 1, Arsenal 2 and Tottenham 1. Sitter 2. So, day after Wembley, we're there, boys. Well, let me go through some of your, uh, some of my results and why I think um, these will happen. Well, let me start off with, obviously, Leicester City 1, Chelsea 1. I just think this is going to be um, a very tight game. Two sort of not informed teams, not quite out of sort teams, a little bit in between teams at the moment. Leicester and Chelsea, neither pulling up trees. It's a funny old league at the minute. You can still win, you still lose two or three games and you don't move uh, positions. So I just think this is going to be a bit of a drab affair over at the um, over at Leicester City. And I just think, yeah, 1-1. One, one. I, I don't rate Chelsea at all. I'm surprised they've done no business in the transfer window. Why, I don't know. It's a difficult market, I understand, but I thought they might have got one or two people in. But still a day left. Let's see what happens there. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. Liverpool 3, Southampton 1. Unfortunately, the uh, soon-to-be champions are going to march on to a comfortable home win. Um you know, they played last night and won 2-0 West, two, two at West Ham. Didn't play well at all, but they're getting results. They're going to get over the line and they're probably going to end up beating our 100-point record at this rate. Might have to be us again. That stops them um, getting that record. Title's gone, we know that. 19 points behind now. We know, congratulations to them. You know, they deserve it. They're, you know, they're going to be worthy champions, unfortunately, and they are going to be worthy champions. We have to hold our hands up on that one. But Southampton, not a cat and else chance at Anfield. No chance at all. Comfortable home win. Southampton, uh, Liverpool 3, Southampton 1. Spurs 1, City 2. The new White Hart Lane. Um, Spurs don't have a striker really anymore, do they? <laughs> um, I know they've spotted a little bit of money in the January transfer window. I think they bought someone today or on the verge of buying someone today. But, yeah, I just think, yeah, I know we didn't play very well last night against those lot over the road, but, you know, I mean, we seem to play better away than we do at home at the moment. Our away form is really good. It's probably better than our home form at the moment. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that, but, yeah, I just think away from home, if we were at home, I'd probably say a draw, but we're away, so I've gone for a 2-1 win, narrow win. Um, I'm hoping... He plays Gabbert and Sergio together because them two are, are electric together. Um, and I'm just hoping Pep makes the right call and plays them. Sine could be on the bench, we don't know, on his way back. 
Laporte probably going to be involved. That's where he was rested last night. Edison's going to come back in. So, yeah, I'm going for a narrow, narrow 2-1 win for Sitter. So, there's just a few of my results. I'm going to hand you back over to Ander, who's uh, probably full of pasta now. Enjoyed his time over in Rome, but I'll send you back over to him. See you later, guys. Take care. And as always, up the blues. Thanks, Martin. Really appreciate that, buddy. And, uh, yeah, you've climbed the table again, so well done to you. Now, next up is our other presenter on the FIFA uh, channel, and that is Kiam. Thanks, Kiam. So still, still leading from the front there. I see. So uh, over to our final guest, and as usual, that is Ryan, who looks after the Discord channel, uh, the Premier League predictions uh, on the Discord channel. So over to Ryan. Hello, guys. This is Ryan with my predictions for game week 25. Definitely didn't just have to check that. <laughs> so I have gone with Leicester 2, Chelsea 0. Bournemouth 1, Villa 2. Palace 0, Sheffield United 2. Liverpool 3, Southampton 1. Newcastle 1, Norwich 0. Watford 1, Everton 2. West Ham 1, Brighton 1. Man United 1, Wolves 1. Burnley 1, Arsenal 2. And Spurs 0, Manchester City 4. So I'll start with City. That game against United last night. I think it was a... I thought it was a terrible performance, but United did only have one chance and didn't really deserve anything from the game. If Cancelo knows how to mark the person he's marking, they don't score. So we didn't give United anything really, all game, apart from that one set piece opportunity. So. I think Pep will want a response now, and I think we will absolutely destroy Tottenham, especially under Mourinho, because I think Mourinho's, you know, I mean, he's just going to park the bus, we all know this. So, uh, Leicester to beat Chelsea, Chelsea are very patchy form at the minute, really, they're very tipsy-turvy, they had the 2-2 draw with 10-man Arsenal last week. Week before that, they lost to Newcastle, so maybe it might be their turn to win. But uh, obviously, Leicester got back into form, smashing West Ham last week. So uh, I'm going to go with Leicester, as I think they're better, the better of the two teams. Uh, Villa to beat Bournemouth. I think this could go either way. Bournemouth might be on, might be on an up after they actually picked up a victory. But I've just edged it to Villa. Sheffield United, just better than Crystal Palace, solid defence, that's about it, they've got, still conceded the second least in the league, four less than us, so, um, go with 2-0 there, another clean sheet, Liverpool to beat Southampton 3-1, yeah, Danny Ings get a goal, other than that, pretty routine, hopefully, if anyone's going to score, Salah will score since I just put him in the fantasy team since Mane was injured. Uh, Newcastle to beat Norwich. It's going to be a pretty crap game. Newcastle just grind out a 1-0 victory. Uh, Watford to lose to Everton. Everton, I think, they're in the better position. They have the better players, the better manager. Watford obviously went and lost last week. Um, so I think they're a little... Bump in form from Nigel Pearson might be coming to a close, so I've edged that to Everton. West Ham Brighton, can't really pick a winner in that. West Ham lost their last two, but they had a, a bit of an up. Brighton, don't really know to be honest. So, I've just kind of gone with the draw there. Man United Wolves, Wolves obviously the draw experts. Man United, very topsy-turvy, just like a lot of teams in the league. Uh, so I've gone with a one-all draw there. Burnley to lose to Arsenal. I've purely given that to Arsenal on the fact that Aubameyang is back from his suspension. Otherwise, I, was, I did think 1-0 Burnley, but I've just given it to Arsenal. And then, obviously, the City game. 
So that's my predictions. Make sure you get yours in in the Discord. And back to Andy. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Really do appreciate that and all the work that you do on the Premier League predictions table on the Discord channel. So on to my predictions. So starting off, Leicester versus Chelsea have gone 1-1. Bournemouth versus Villa, same. Crystal Palace, Sheffield United, 1-1. Uh, Liverpool, this time I've gone for a 2-1 home win. I think they'll just scrape it. I think Southampton will give them a good game. Uh, they're playing well at the moment, Southampton, but probably Liverpool will pop up in the 94th minute and uh, and get a winner. Uh, that just seems to be the, the way their season's gone this year. Um, Newcastle, Norwich, 1-1. Watford, Everton, 1-1. West Ham, Brighton, 1-1. And United versus Wolves, I think, will be a 1-1. Burnley, 1 Arsenal won and uh, on to our final game, Tottenham versus City. Um, I think it'll be I think it'll be a pretty tight game for most of it, uh, but I think City will come out victors. 3-1 uh, I'm going for. I think Pep will put out a very strong team uh, for this one. The strongest possible. Edison will be back in there without shadow of a doubt. Spurs obviously out with uh, no Kane. Um, yeah, I can, see, I can see it being pretty tight for large portions of the game, but I just think City's uh, class will uh, show out on the day and will come away uh, from the new Spurs stadium with three points. So uh, anyway, let's move on and take a look at uh, the, the predictions table. Okay, so this is the table that Ryan updates every week after the game. So up there, still leading the way is Kiam uh, on 159 points. Bernard Deneen's on 144 in second and Ryan is in third on 138. Then we've got a bit of a gap back to Ethan Aspinall who's on 127. Martin's jumped a few places up to 120. Sections jumped up as well on 118. Callum's jumped above me on 116 and I'm down to eighth on 113. Baron House is just behind me on 112. Then we've got to jump back into the 90s. We've got Dank City on 97. Mingi Wong on 97. Sargent's on 69. Ace King 51, Alex 16, Rodrigo 9, Darren 9, Ashkid 6, Daniel De Bruyne 6, Whereas Coop 5 and True Blue 1972 is on 4. But anyway guys, that's uh, that's game um, 25 of the Premier League's uh, predictions on Man City Fan TV. Uh, that's the table. You've heard the guys. Don't forget, give us your scores below. What who, do you think um, this week's results are going to be? And uh, yeah, keep following the channel. And we'll see you soon.